So here we have the decimal number 24.772, and we need to round this number to the nearest 10, to the nearest whole number, to the nearest tenth, and to the nearest hundredth. We have our place values labelled, so you'll easily be able to see what we're doing here. If we're rounding to the nearest 10, we do the same thing that we always do. We find our tens, then look across to our units, and because it's a 4, we know that we're rounding down. So 24.772 rounds to 20, because we know that digits to the right turn into zeros, but we don't need to write 20.000, we can just write 20. Now let's round to the nearest whole number. So we find our units, look across to our tenths, and we can see that we need to round up. So that's 25 to the nearest whole number. Now rounding to the nearest tenth, we find our tenths, look across to our hundredths, and again we can see that we need to round up. So that's 24.8. And now to the nearest hundredth, we can find our hundredths, look across to our thousandths, and we can see that we're rounding down. So that's 24.77. Now, pause the video and see if you can follow the same steps to round 15.375 to the nearest ten, whole number, tenth, and hundredth. For rounding to the nearest ten, we find our tens, look to our units, and we can see that we need to round up to 20. For rounding to the nearest whole number, we find our units, look to our tenths, and we can see that we're rounding down, so we have 15. To round to the nearest tenth, we find our tenths, look to the hundredths, and because we have 7, because we have 5 or more, we know that we have to round up, so that's 15.4. And to the nearest hundredth, we find our place value, look across, and we have a 5, so we need to round up, so that's 15.38.